Hello, hello! Food, wine, travel blog here. And today the topic is how to study wine. You see, I'm showing you the map of Italy over here. Handmade. I made it myself. Um, you see, it's probably, if you see it, it's Norwegian blend with English and Italian as well. So, um, we'll go over here to my books, to my wine books. Here is my cat. His name is Vasily. Hi. Okay. But anyway, these are all the books that I have um, that I used to study wine. And the wine topic is very overwhelming. Would you agree with me if I say that? Overwhelming. I get so excited. But there is so much information, so many countries to study. We've got Italy, France, Spain, all the other New World countries. And once I just thought, what do I do to study all those countries and to know all those regions? So, a friend of mine who lives in Mexico, who is a sommelier in a very nice uh, resort, he said, why don't you make a map of a country that you'd like to study? And take one country by country, study one country at a time. So this is what I did. I looked online and I saw there are so many maps that you can buy. But I made it myself. It, uh, the map of Italy over here, it looks like the map of Italy, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It's only for you. And what I did, I took my book, which is in Norwegian. In Norwegian a very nice book. It says, um, good to know about wine. So I opened... Italy. Um, I guess, yes, I drew this map from Google and then I took all the wine regions from this book. And I even copied some of the regions separately. You see, I have uh, the northwest of Italy over here, it's in Norwegian. Um, I copied it from that Norwegian book and just put them in here because uh, this is the, for example, northeast of Italy over here. And here is a mini map of northeast of Italy, of with all the tiny regions as well, wine regions. So um, I've got those main regions copied on my main map of Italy. I've got my DOCG regions and wines, and DOC wines as well. Sorry, these are only DOCG. Yeah, the main ones. Okay, the main categories and then what I do I read about each region I try to read one region about one region a week and then I read and see which wines are worth ordering and trying I order them online we have a very nice internet shop internet store that I can order from I order them you see that I took this one, this copy from this book. I study them, I order them online, I read some other books, I read some information online as well. I order my wines, I store them, I drink them, and I make notes as well. First of all, I make notes in my wine journal that I bought in Paris and in my tiny notepad where i have all the countries gathered you see i've tasted a lot of wines i've tasted so far which are written down not all of them i have time to write down 74 from italy and i use my wine ranking system just check it out on my web page please foodwinetravelblog.com um, a wine ranking system where Five stars is the best one. Two, I wouldn't try it again. You see my cat, he loves my system as well. So, I try a wine, I write it on a post-it note, and I glue it onto the region it comes from with my wine, wine ranking system as well. And you see, with a pencil, I have some main grapes of the region or I have some other notes like pasito, dry wine. So to study for me to know more about wine and about each region. For example here I have Vitvin which means white wine. 
okay or in this region Trentino Alto Adige I have that it's Tisk it means German it's German influence on this northeastern region of Italy and this is how I study my wine this is the tip of the day thank you I'll be with you next week